Now, if you don't have this image open, I want you to open it right now. I want you to go back to that last video, follow those instructions, open this because I want to see this. If you complete this, I want to see the end product on your journal. And the end product is just the eyebrow and the eye, not the eyelashes. It's just simple. Okay? So, when you're tracing the eye, what I want you to look at is just the shape. Ignore the eyelashes. The shape here. This is continuous arc from about right here over to right here. And there's a, there's a continuous arc from about right here to right here. And then there's a little separate arc right here and a little more complicated arc right here that comes down and then up and then goes down. So would you believe you can create this with just five anchor points? You know how that butterfly wing had, you know, anchor points all over the place in the details, um, but more on the outside. If I hit Command F, I'm going to paste in, get the direct selection tool. Um, if I click on this, you can see there's an anchor point right there, right there, and right there. There's three of them on this side, and there's two of them on this side. These two control this curve and this curve, this curve, and then this moves around here. So how do you make this? Let me go ahead and cut that again. Whoops, Command Z and Command Z again to get rid of it. So hit the letter P for the pen tool. Okay, P, it gets his own personal shortcut with the P for pen because it's so important. And then you want no fill. And here's another shortcut for you. See this angle right here on the none for fill? Whatever's here. If you click on this, you get no stroke. If you click on this, you get no fill. Hit the letter D so you have white and black. Make sure the fill is in the foreground. Not Command D, just the letter D. And then see the diagonal? Look at your keyboard. Look at the question mark. It's over there by the shift key on the, uh, the right-hand side of the keyboard. Underneath the question mark is a diagonal, the forward slash. If you click the forward slash, whatever's in the foreground here gets no fill. Cool. You'll learn a new shortcut. Now with the pen tool, we're not going to click. We're going to click and drag. So you press the mouse button down. You look for where does this curve start? Where does it start? And it starts right about here. It doesn't start down here because you've got a curve here. Starts right about here. And don't worry, we can move these. We can change these. You want to drag a handle in the direction you're going. Now, where do you drag? Do you drag here? Do you drag here? Here's a clue. You know what tangents are? I want this line to kind of move along the edge so it kisses the edge that I'm going to try to drag it to. And then how long I drag it is a mystery. I'm going to make it a little short. I think that's a little short. We'll figure it out. And then you get a little preview of where we're headed. You look, where does this curve end over here? What well, ends right about there? So I'm going to click and drag. And once again, I'm looking at tangent. I want to make it kiss that eyelid. And you know, we're a little close, but don't worry about that. We're going to come back here. Don't click. I'm going to hold down the command key with my excuse me, with my left hand. And notice how it changes to the direct selection tool. And then I can click and drag this. I can make it longer. I can change the arc. I can move this around. And we go back and forth. It's a little dance. I'm still holding down command, trying to get this just right. And you come back and forth. And at some point, you say, well, that's pretty darn close. And then... We want to make this little curve here, but this handle, this handle is crazy long. And if I hold down command and click on this handle and pull it in, notice how I'm changing the curve. I don't want to do that. I'm going to hit command Z. If I hold down option instead of, <coughs> excuse me, command, I get the anchor point tool. 
Now look at this time. When I move it, it does not affect that other anchor. Coolio. So I want to bring this up and I want to kiss this curve. And I got to make it short. I can't pull it out here because I'll be past that curve. Got to make it kind of short. And then when I let go of option, I now have my pen tool again. And I want to click and drag just a little bit because I want to make that little short curve. And say, yeah, that looks pretty good. Now, I want to make this curve here. But look how short this handle is. What tool do we use? You don't want the selection tool because remember the direct selection tool because remember it will affect the handle on the other side and we've already got this curve dialed in pretty close. You want the anchor point tool and that's option because this one lets us drag this independently and not affect the other. Okay, so we're going to guess, let go. Now I'm going to let go to get the pen tool again. Then I'm going to come over here right about here. That's where that curve is going to change. And I'm going to click and drag, not backwards, in the direction our, our path is going. And, you know, don't worry about trying to get it just right, although it looks like we got pretty darn close there. Um, pretty darn close. And then I want to make this curve down to here, and then I want to connect this. So this handle is way long. Hold down Option to get the direct selection. And I want to just curve it like that. That's probably too long. We're going to have to shorten that up probably. And I'll show you at the end because that's, that's no problem at all. We're going to come over here and click and drag kind of in that direction. We're going to have a sharp corner we're going to have to fix. And that's okay. Now... This point over here, how do we get this handle that was way out here? Because remember, we drug this thing and that handle went way down there. Well, we're not going to get it. We're going to hold down Option and we're going to create a new handle. When we hold down Option, we get the direct selection tool. Don't worry about this changing back into the pen tool because we're going to click and drag and we're going to get a little handle. Hey, how come? Oh, yeah, we got drag in the other direction. Sorry, my bad, because the curve is going in this direction. We can't drag back at ourselves. And then I'm going to go, I'm going to drag right along that upper path. And then if I need to adjust this side, I can. So now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to hold down Command and click to deselect to check and see how our curve is. Turn this layer on and off. I'm going to look right here and then turn this off and say, not bad. And then I'm gonna look right here. I'm not gonna try to look at all this. I'm just gonna look right here, trying to see how that curve is. You know, not bad. You kinda gotta estimate here, cause this, you know, this gunky stuff in here, the tear duct, I mean, chances are you have never looked close at this and every single person's gonna have a little different gunky stuff right here. This moist, fleshy thing that helps keep your eye working and produces those wonderful tears when we need to cry for joy or release some other emotion. But not bad. If you have to come in here and fix things, hold down the command key to temporarily get the white arrow, the direct selection tool, and then come up on one of these paths. And which one do you need to to work with. This long path controls this curve right here. This short path controls this curve right here. This one right here is controlling this side. If I hold down command and click on this, you'll see that I got a second handle and this handle controls this curve here. So if at any point you have something that looks, you know, chunky. It's, it's not a smooth curve. You can try this again. The best way to learn this is to do this over and over and over. Um, we're also going to produce, you know, we're going to make the, the iris and the pupil, but we're not going to use the pen tool. These are round. And pro tip, this iris is not round. But if you draw this the way it is, it's going to look wrong because 
we're used to looking at eyeballs, but this simplified drawing, we want to make this because we're looking straight on it. We want to make this round. So we're going to eliminate, you can see this irregularity over here. See the, the, the skin little bumps here? I got news for you. Every single one of you has imperfections. Zoom in with a camera and we're imperfect beings. But these pen tool drawings, we're going to make closed paths. That's what this is, a closed path. When we draw out this line, we're going to make a closed path so we can fill it. It's not going to be a bunch of strokes. You'll see as we move through this. Practice this. If that made no sense, play this back. Try it again. Try to follow my steps. Practice. It's the only way you're going to get this.